Good morning, everyone. So today is the day that we go and do this perk test again. <clears throat> Hopefully, everything works out to our benefit. Um, I'm nervous. I have never been so nervous in my life. Uh, so we're gonna have some fun today. I guess. I think. I hope. Hey guys, so we are out here at the property. We're waiting on the land broker Cole to show up and um, de-heck. And so it's just kind of a, sorry, Stephen, kind of a very nerve-wracking day. I'm just nervous. I want everything to work out the way I want it to work out and if, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I um if it don't work out. So I'm gonna I guess For what the ground looks like, I mean I don't see why it ain't gonna park. I mean it's, <coughs> it's, it's sand and um clay mix. I mean it's it's so. they say it has something to do with the soil. They gotta look at the soil, the la the layers of soil or something. <clears throat> they they don't do the water pour test no more. That's been outdated. We were told 25 years ago. So honestly, the land broker. Uh, I spoke to him a couple weeks ago. He said that he was gonna bring a little mini excavator. I spoke with him yesterday, and he said that he was going to. Uh, he was bringing out a auger and a tractor. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how in the world they're going to get a an auger and a tractor through here. Um, well, really, I don't think, I don't even know how they would even get a, um... A mini excavator would be able to fit. I mean, because they're only about four foot wide. Yeah, so hopefully <clears throat> they got a, a smaller tractor and not this huge ginormous tractor. Well, using an auger... You need power behind that auger, at least to pull it up out of the ground if it gets stuck. So it ain't gonna be a small tractor. Oh, it, it, <clears throat> don't tell me that. Small tractors don't have enough hydraulic pressure to pull an auger up out of the ground if it grabs something and takes off. I just don't want to waste the daggum. I don't. I don't want to waste D Hex time coming out here when I told him that we were gonna have the right equipment, and now I find out that. We're using a dog, an auger to dig the holes, so hopefully everything works out. Um, there is a live coyote den, like less than 30 feet from us, because right here by the front of the car, there is coyote poop. So, and it was not here <laughs> last time. So it's got to be active. Yeah. Which I'm ready and waiting. So hopefully we don't get attacked by coyotes waiting here. Ah, that Daddy Shark got the gun. <laughs> yeah, let me show y'all. Okay, so there is the coyote poop. All right, now you walk over here. Daddy, you better get over here with me because I want to show them the coyote did. <laughs> You walk right through here. Y'all see this mound of dirt? I know I see it. That mound of dirt, right. I can't believe I'm doing this. I should have brought my, my handgun. All you need is one of them to jump out of the hole. The other way. Uh, yes. Exactly. Y'all see that hole right there? Yep. That's the coyote hole. So yeah, that's one thing that definitely has to go. Um, before I bring the kids out here and let them wander through the woods. So... While we wait for them to get here, we're gonna just take a walk. 
I'm not going too far. Um, is this a low area? With this grass? Maybe it's a hidden pond. Yeah, well, we ain't deer hunting. There's another hole. Guarantee that's an armadillo hole. Hey, It's very soft. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so we're back at the road that comes in here. We're just walking around this big brush pile. Look, you can shape that into a future Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's what we need to make a Christmas tree for. Him. Actually, Stephen, this right here can be... <laughs> like, you see the trees right through here? There ain't no but then little oaks. Through. I mean, we're right here by the road. Yep. You see these trees through here? Yeah. You can actually cut all this stuff out. Um, is this a, is this a straight part of the road or a curved part? The reason why I'm asking... Because technically... So D Hex here, waiting on the land broker to show up. Y'all, I feel sick. I feel sick to my stomach. My nerves are all tore up. Make them chest hurts. I'm just ready to get this over with. Y'all have no idea how I feel right now. It's 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 horrible. I'm so stressed out. I didn't sleep good last night. Hopefully that everything works out. I really do. I really hope that everything works out. We just dug at one spot. 
and he said it looks a little bit better. So we're going to try to move down further that way and see what happens. I hope it all works out. I really do. I need to lock this car up. Get me something to drink and lock this car up and then go walking through the woods. <sighs> Lord help me. <sighs> I'm drinking some tea. Yes, yeah, a hearty scope. I had to drink something earlier. <laughs> and I had to eat something. I'm tell y'all. My nerves. They're a wreck. So, let's see. Hit the woods again. I still some my husband's tea. He won't mind. <laughs> Coming back, I dug one right there on that road, and it was decent. And then I just kind of walked up the hill a little bit to where I thought I could maybe put some grain for and it was terrible up there. We're actually glad you kind of found this trail because we come through here and knock some lands down to kind of show the direction. Well, and I always pick up, you know, if you give me some halfway direction, usually I can find it. This land's 300 feet back, you know. I know if I walk 100 feet in, you know, I need to go a little bit further back. So. Yeah. So in some direction, we usually can find it. That just sounds hard. <laughs> Um, you know, I know those soil maps have, you know, certain parameters and things that on there, but they aren't always accurate. Yeah. Um, you know, I think they were done back in the 70s or so. So, yeah, I always use it as a tool when I'm out here. You know, if I'm having some issues, you know, I look it up and say, hey, you know, there's X soil over there. Let's at least try it and see what we can find. Mm -hmm. um, I was saying, like, if this field has always been in, in you know, ag production, mm -hmm. it'd obviously be more fertile than everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, spot, and, spot. you know, I guess for soil, for septic tanks and crops, I mean, it's probably going to be a little bit different. I mean, you know, being that it stayed a little bit wet, it might not be a big issue for soil or mm -hmm. crops or something, but, you know, if, you know, you've flushing the toilet and stays yeah. wet and <laughs> nothing's going down and you know that's that's what if issue. i go over here on the other side of this corner where this road is and just dig a hole on the side of that road yeah we might can. be a little bit different than this soft you know, soil right here yeah we can we can go that way indeed see what the other property has <laughs> it changes <laughs> i mean i see lots of subdivisions all the time where one lot to the next, you can get a permit or not. Really, it goes from one lot to the next? Yeah. Or, you know, it might be sand here and clay on the next lot, and then it's like, well, my neighbor's got 100 feet, why well, I got 400? It's like, <laughs> not, not me, I mean, that's just what's there. The only thing I don't want is, Thousand foot rain lines for the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, in, in, in this in Saluda County, bare minimum on a three bedroom house is 400. That's in great soil. And so, you know, the, the worse the soil, the more drain fill you're going to have. Well, we ain't worried about the drain fill. We have all the drain fill we want. <laughs> But I think I dug one down this road, maybe down there, I don't know if y'all saw it. Oh no, I don't ever come in through this road. I dug one down there right on the road, and it was okay as I was thinking about that, and then as soon as I walked up the hill just a little bit, then it turned back to that same crap, so I was like, yeah. Them post hole diggers, but there's a bomb inside of supply. Really? That, that beefy? Oh, the other ones we got freaking slapped. Yeah, they uh, they make post hole diggers and um, pitchforks, man. Steel now. Where's he going? I'll be down yonder to dig another hole. That's what I'm thinking. He's probably a bad spot. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get more topsoil out of it. Yeah. Let's um. Is there a road down there you could drive the tractor down, Jim? On that. On other you side. You They're thin trees. They're not big pine trees. If you go on along the back side, well, you can it's... actually go all the way through along the back side. It's not going good. We really need a backhoe. The land broker brought a dag on. 
auger. And it's not working. We've done dug. We've been had the DA guy dig. Probably eight holes. And um, in various different places around this property. And it ain't good. I'm just being honest. I don't know what to do. I'm upset. I'm frustrated. Sorry, y'all, there's a pine needle in my shirt. But I'm upset. I'm frustrated. I'm irritated. I feel like just curling up in a ball. He said that it does look a little bit promising over, over there. But he needs a backhoe to get past the rock. There's some rocks in the ground and he can't dig deep enough with the pole to get down in there. So, I don't know what we're going to do. We've gotten this far. December 11th was the closing date. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm not in high spirits right now. Really not. Let me go see if I can track down them guys. Because they're probably over there talking. So, what are you thinking about as far as everything that went on today? I don't know. I'm still trying to stop that can. I'm still trying to understand the perk test situation of how the soil needs to be. It's confusing me like crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Because. They don't want a sandy soil. But they don't want hard clay. But they, they don't like want hard clay, and you can't have nothing in between, so I don't know what's going on here. I mean, it seems like, I mean, clay's gonna be hard when it gets wet. Uh, they want a dark color clay look to the soil, though. But they don't want it to be able to ball up and make like a, a ball oh, out of it. So we're still trying to figure out what's going on. They're going to try to. What are they trying to do? They're going to contact us. They're going to contact the land brokers on a contact us and see if <clears throat> uh, they can figure out another way of getting this land to perk getting this land to perk which i asked the the perk test guy from dhec i asked him you know if it don't perk through you how's it gonna perk through the other way and he was like well it costs more money and i was like that don't make no sense to me i was like so it all has to do with money um <clears throat> and that really ain't fair if you think if you think about it uh so it, it comes to whoever has got the bigger pocket to make it perk. That, that's how it comes to, uh, is what my understanding is. Because if he said it don't, if the DHEC guy says it doesn't perk, but you say, but then he says you can call this guy and you, you're going to have to pay more money to get a blueprint and get get all this stuff and a soil thing. And uh, then, then he could check the same exact spot where the DHEC guy checked for perking. And... Uh, he said that guy will make it perk. How is that going to be different? The soil is still going to be the same. So I don't understand that at all. That don't make no sense. It's like contradicting what you're saying from the get-go. Um, it kind of irks me a little bit. but. Um, so basically, we might be looking at starting the property search all over again. Yeah, so they brung an auger out here. Now, from the get-go, we told them they needed a little teeny mini excavator. 
that'll fit in between the row of the trees. Now the excavator would probably need to be, I'd say approximately four foot wide, four to five foot wide, and you can go down the rows of, rows of trees with the little excavator scoop bucket on it. And the guy says it needs to be four feet deep, three, three foot in diameter so he can get into the hole and look at the, the layers of soil. And this is what the DHEC guy told me. He was like, the next time I come out, um, you need to have a, some kind of a backhoe. So it would be a little mini excavator we would need to fit in between all these pine trees because we don't want to lose the pine trees for doing this because, you know, that's going to create money in the long run that we can help pay off the land. But, I mean, it ain't going to be, you know, a dramatic amount but <clears throat> we don't want to just cut down all these pine trees I mean we're gonna have to cut down a little bit of them but we're gonna thin them out you know a little bit after the thinned out the right way not yeah. just random trees taken out or a random trail going straight through the property we want it thinned out the right way we want to do it because I mean this timber on this property is money we go to cutting trees out that are good trees we're losing money in the future later on down the road so we don't know what we're doing uh, we just took a brief walk around the property and through the zigzagging through the property just to try to clear our heads and to figure out what exactly we want to do um, there is always the option of asking the timber company if they'll lower the price to the actual value of the property without it being able to perk. Um, that's a thought that we had had, and that would be the only other option that we would be able to do. If they, that's the only way we would be able to get the property, if the timber company actually lowers the price. And that's probably gonna be $2,000 an acre. And the other thing is, you know, even though in South Carolina, if the land does not perk, the the, the DHEC guy told me if you pay that extra money to make the guy come in and, to make it perk, uh, like I was explaining earlier, um, you're still going to have to have an engineered system. The engineered septic system is uh, I call I I called I called a septic place in uh, Aiken County, South Carolina, and they say they do a lot of work in Saluda, South Carolina. Um, so <clears throat> they told me they can't give me a bought like an exact exactly. price on the septic system that the, you would have to have, but they gave me a range and the range is in between 20 or in between uh, 15 and $30,000. So I told that to the DHEC guy and I also told that to the land broker that met us here today. And uh, I was like, that's just a range. That's not a get, you know, that's a range of what they've put in in the past. And that's the range that it costs people uh, for them doing that certain system. And so I told the land broker, I was like, well, I'm not basing it on the low end and I ain't basing it on the high end, but I'm going to base it in the middle somewhere, probably around 20, you know, 22.5 or $23,000, you know, just the idea approximate what it would probably cost to get a septic system for this property. And that's a lot of money and um, uh, just, to, just to do that. So we were hoping to probably get some kind of, get more of an idea of how much it would actually be for a price and see, what they, see if they would come off the price of the land that much just because we would have to put an engineered septic system on this piece of property. Thing is, is I'm just so tired of looking at properties. You have no idea, hun. I'm just well, I like am too. I see. We've seen this property. We both like this property. We both said yes, and then it sounded so promising, and then now that it won't perk, I don't know what I really. I don't know what I'm. What is next for us? I really don't. Um, the land broker said that if it really does not perk, and the the um, timber company won't. Um, if the timber company won't budge on the price, 
then they said that they would find us land that would perk. Well, how long is that going to take? How long have we been doing this? We've been doing this for probably eight years. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, eight years. It, it's Y'all, it's been like eight years uh, we've been doing this. Um, Courtney's almost eight. Hey, it's been eight years since we first, first moved into the house where we're at now. We've been there like eight years. So, I don't know. I don't want. I'm not. I don't want to lose any more money on this property. I really. I, or any property. I don't. Want yeah, to and y'all, we are. We already had to survey people come out here. That's two thousand. And that, that, that that's that's two thousand dollars out of our pocket that we had to pay the survey company. And then all of a sudden, this now the property ain't gonna perk. I don't understand why they don't do the perk test and all that stuff before you're mandatory to have the survey. That makes no sense to me. Uh, you should be able to do the perk test, you know, in the appraisal before, bef you, before you even get it surveyed because that's money that that's I hope I that hope we could have put towards Christmas. Yeah, that's two thousand dollars that we could have put towards something else or a piece of property that would perk. Now I don't know if we're stuck paying for that two thousand dollars for a piece of property that we ain't even going to be able to have and ain't gonna be able to suit our needs. So that's $2,000 that's out of our pocket, ain't going to nothing, but just giving it away for somebody else to benefit on the perk to, or on the survey. Um, that's another thing that bothers me. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'm kind of lost for words now because we were both hoping that this was going to suit the situation and make everything better. Um, but apparently now there's going to be another situation. And I told the land broker today that I wasn't paying that extra money for somebody to come in here and do a blueprint for a septic tank and do this, all that stuff and pay this extra money for this person to make the thing, get a septic tank. I, I'm not paying that money. I told the land broker that and he understood where I was coming from. Um, and I wasn't going to, you know, just throw money out there just to get something done if we can't still get the property and be suited for our needs. But here is, uh, my wife showed you the coyote den, but not from this side. So we might go on this side since I got my uh, gun on me. Um... Yeah, well, you and stay don't back. Shoot my car. You I ain't gonna shoot the car. Come on now. But I'm gonna go up here on this mound. Hopefully, nothing comes out. <laughs> if it does, we better get 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 to it. Don't drop my camera either. No, I ain't gonna drop the camera. <laughs> yeah. That's one of them. That's one of the den holes. It goes down there a ways, man. It's pretty di pretty big diameter hole, and it's it's a good thirty yards of dirt sitting here in a pile, and uh, it's big enough for a dog to get down in that hole. And I'm on top of the mound now. There's there's Shannon way down there. <laughs> So, here we go. Oh, the glare of the sun just messed it up a little bit. Bring them along because they had school today. 
So, you want to help me end it? My nose itches. Huh. Alright guys, <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching, and y'all have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you all. I uh, appreciate it. If y'all can give us any pointers, leave them in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Um, what else you want to tell them? Make sure you like, subscribe, and... Hit the notification bell. Yep. So it'll let you know when we post a new video. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye. We'll see y'all on the next one.